In this module, we are going to study about different types of literature review. There are two major types of literature review, traditional literature review and systematic literature review. Traditional literature review is basically done for thesis, research proposal, and also research papers, which are not exclusively based on literature review. A traditional literature review is often based on personal selection of material, which are used in order to drive in the author's point of view. It is done in a logical manner, systematic manner to develop the argument to, to tell the story which the author prefers. This approach helps the researcher to be reflective. One value of the traditional literature review is that it can provide insights which can usually be neglected in a systematic literature review. The different types of traditional literature review are expert review, which is usually written by experts in a particular body of knowledge. Take for instance, the, the, uh, the, the study on oral food challenge in children, an expert review, which was published in European Annals of Allergy and Clinical Immunology where experts have reviewed the oral food challenges which are prevalent uh, in children. Scoping review sets the scene for future research agenda. Its purpose is to provide an overview of available studies and how these studies can be used in future research area agenda so that the body of the knowledge develops in that particular domain. Take for instance, the use of flipped classrooms in higher education, a scoping review. Here in this study, this, they, they reviewed the use of flipped classrooms in higher education and how this can uh, and future research agenda was set in so that it can it can devote as regards to how the future body of knowledge should advance in this particular domain the next type of traditional literature review is conceptual review this area in, in, uh, synthesizes the various concepts about the topic that leads to a good understanding of the issues which are prevalent on that particular domain. Take for instance, the transformational leadership is a concept. So these were conceptually reviewed in order to understand how it can be used as a means of management of emotion. And the last type of traditional literature review is state of the art review. It brings the reader to the most recent research on an area. Take for instance, if you are researching on industry 5.0 and you are doing a state of the art review, it explains or it brings forth the various aspects of industry 5.0 and uh, it, it, it can uh, guide the readers as regards to the currency of the knowledge in that particular domain. Doing a, tra a traditional literature review helps you to be flexible and explore ideas 
which you can use to drive in your point. It can, however, it is sub subject. Subjectivity is more in a traditional literature review because you are cherry picking those evidences which can drive in your viewpoint. There is no established protocol or practice in a traditional literature review. However, it is a good practice to tell the reader on what basis the material was selected. Prerequisite of traditional literature review is first identify the topic, funnel it down and decide on the specific research area or the research question. Take for instance, you are studying the impact of job satisfaction on job uh, uh, performance in a hospitality sector. So you need to review articles on job satisfaction and job performance in the hospitality sector and then study review literature both in job satisfaction, job, satis uh, job uh, performance and then try to link this with, the, uh, with each other and also review literatures pertaining to hospitality sector so that the contextual influence can be brought in. You can do so by identifying the keywords and go visiting the databases uh, of the libraries. Take for instance, this it could be an online database or offline, online databases like Scopus and the Web of Science. Read the material, make notes, and these can be used in order to craft your literature review for your research proposal. A tra traditional literature review is mostly used for journal articles which are used to publish the research findings, traditional literature reviews are used, thesis. Also, you can write a literature review to provide a standalone review of a topic. Take for instance, scoping review or expert review. And also, this can be helped in policy development and developing ideas in order to found, find the research gaps. This brings end to this module.